Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an amazing tutorial lined up for you. We're going to walk you through the process of creating an SSH SSL TLS server payload and setting it up with the SNI method on the HTTP custom app. This setup will help you achieve faster speeds and a more secure web connection. For more VPN updates and hidden tricks, be sure to visit our blog. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, Basel, and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. First, open your browser and search for SSH Ocean. In the search results, click on the official link to reach the website's homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look to the upper right corner and click on the menu button to expand the list. Select Services and a new window will pop up. From there, click on SSH and then SSH Stunnel at the top of the server list. You'll see a new page with various server locations. Choose the location that best suits your needs. Make sure the server you select is available and online. Once you've made your choice, click on the Create button. Now you've reached the final page. Here, you'll need to create your account. Enter your desired username and password, complete the CAPTCHA, and click the Create Now button. In just a few seconds, your server account will be ready. Be sure to copy the host or IP address, username, password, and payload for future use. Next, let's move on to the HTTP Custom app. Go to the Google Play Store on your device and search for HTTP Custom. Click on the app in the search results, then hit the Install button to download it onto your device. Once the app is installed, click Open to launch it. On the home screen of the HTTP Custom app, check the box next to SSL. Then, in the SSH box, paste the IP address and port number, 443 or 143 for SSL that you copied earlier. Enter the username and password that you created on the SSH Ocean website. Now let's add the payload. Check the payload box, then click on the hamburger icon in the upper left corner to open the menu. Click on payload and a small window will pop up. Paste the payload you copied earlier and click apply to save it. If you want to use the SNI method, click on the hamburger icon again, then select SNI from the list. A small window will open where you can enter a valid SNI. Once you've done that, click Apply to save it. Once all the data has been successfully added, click the Connect button to establish a secure web connection. And that's it. You've successfully connected to the SSH SSL Stunnel server using the HTTP custom app. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for more tutorials and updates. And as always, happy browsing!